Today we have a luxury handbag unboxing and just a little bit of luxury handbag talk. I don't get to purchase or feature a lot of luxury handbags on my channel very often, so it's always special to be able to do a dedicated video on these. You know, whenever I post a luxury video of any sort of nature, cosmetics or handbags in particular, there's always negative comments that I get. I just want you to know I am in no way bragging. <laughs> this is just a style of video I like to watch myself even before I I could afford to buy myself luxury goods every now and then I still watched luxury videos it's just a topic that I enjoy and I figure if I enjoy it there's a small handful of you that will as well if you don't care for my handbag videos and just love my makeup videos you guys know that's what I'm posting 95% of the time don't worry I just want to talk about this handbag that I picked up because I love it there's a lot of meaning behind me purchasing it and then also some other handbags that I had my eye on when I went into the boutique so this bag I've had had for a while now it's been a few weeks but it's taken me a while to find some time to film this today is actually my two-year anniversary with my husband and I wanted to do a video that was pretty quick for me to film and edit I have my anniversary dinner makeup on not my hair or my outfit but I wanted to get my makeup done <laughs> so I will have all of the products for this makeup look linked down below it's a mixture of new things that I'm testing and then also some of my staples so that I know my makeup's gonna last a long time to if you are curious about that, it will be linked down below. But let's get into it. So the purpose behind me purchasing this bag and what makes it so special is I recently hit, and it's been a few weeks now, like I said, 100K on YouTube. And it kind of worked out in a time where I hit 100K on TikTok just a few weeks before that. And then a few weeks after, I also hit 100K on YouTube. So this is like my 100K bag. And I wanted to make sure that I got something timeless that I would love for a long time and wouldn't feel the need to resell like this marks a very important point in my career and I saved getting this I even waited some time after hitting 100k so that I could go with my mom I've always wanted to shop in the design district in Miami which is where a lot of designer stores are there's a lot of art it's an amazing place so I've been wanting to shop there but obviously it's quite pricey so when I hit 100k I'd been saving up so that I could do that buy myself something to remember that and I wanted to do it with my mom so when my parents came down to visit that was one of the activities I had I wanted to shop with my mom for my 100k bag so I had a few bags in mind I didn't want to go in knowing what I wanted, but I kind of wanted the bag to speak to me. I did have some in mind. I was very interested in getting a Prada handbag. I wanted a re-edition bag because I've always wanted that. I've always had my eye on it. And honestly, the re-edition bag, I know so many people love it. For the nylon, I couldn't get myself to purchase it. It just didn't feel worth the money to me. Now the re-edition Safiano leather, I'm interested in that one still, but then I crossed the nylon off my list. And then I just really love Louis Vuitton. On. So I ended up choosing that place and there were a few different bags that I was interested in. Now the bag that I ultimately decided on was the Alma BB and the Damier Ibang Ibin pattern. So let's take a look at it. I, I'm This is not an unboxing if you want to see that I have it in short form on my channel. So I don't have the box. I already folded it away. It's not new and shiny but I can tell you in my first weeks of owning it my thoughts. So there is a positive to it not being a full unboxing but I do have it right now in the dust bag and are you ready now this is not a new or fancy bag from Louis this is honestly a classic in their line and that is definitely something that I wanted and I think she is so cute and she is totally me so let's talk about the bag first itself then I'll tell you my thought process some other bags that I had my eye on and what I was deciding but like I said this is the Alma BB in the Damier Iben Ibin whatever material they also have it in the monogram a black leather and a few colors of the epi leather which I was also looking at the epi leather ones there was a pinky one that I liked but I wanted this pattern because I didn't have another Louis in this pattern and I just think it goes with a lot. So the price of this is currently $1,760. Obviously very pricey, but I feel like for Louis Vuitton that's not that bad. It actually was cheaper than what I had originally intended on spending, so I felt like I saved a little bit of money there. I wanted my purchase to be in the twos. That was my limit to myself. It had to have a two in front of it at the most, and I stayed under the two completely. So the length of this 
this is 9.3 inches. The height is 6.9 and then the width is four and a half inches at the bottom. As you can see, it does come up and become thinner towards the top. So the material is coated canvas with a smooth cowhide leather trim. And then we also have some gold hardware. And I wanted this purse. This is one that I had in mind. I obviously didn't know if I was gonna get it or not, but I had it in mind because when I graduated high school, I bought this Kate Spade bag and I still use it to this day. It's one of my all time favorite bags and I've been obsessed with that shape ever since. I have like four Kate Spade bags in that shape and I thought it was the perfect opportunity to celebrate a big career celebration with that same shape as well in a much higher quality bag now that I'm in this new stage of life and I couldn't be happier with my decision you guys know I am only 411 so this bag does not overwhelm my body which I really like and it feels very very high quality when you open up the zippers it has a red interior which I think is so sassy. I have the white Damier print. It's like white and gray. I don't know what they call it. Clearly I know my stuff, don't I? <laughs> um, with the pink lining, I love that. I have it in the Neverfull style, but I think the red is so classy. Now, you'll see on the inside, it actually for me is quite spacious. I normally don't carry too much for me, but it, you know, it allows me a mini fan, my phone, my wallet, a snack, some Advil, stuff like that. I feel like I can get a lot in for me, and then they're all also is a pocket if you need. Now it also comes with this tag which I still need to put on. It's just a Louis Vuitton tag. I don't know why I haven't. And then also for the zipper, I think that this is so cute. It comes in a Louis Vuitton pouch. And then it comes with a padlock and key for your zipper. Again, I haven't yet put them on. Right now, I've just been enjoying the bag in its simplest form. And then it also, I have a thing for top handles. I've talked about that a lot, but it does also come with a strap. The drop is 22 inches. If I'm being honest, the strap, I don't like it. It's not adjustable and it's way too long on my frame. But that's okay because I never wear the style of bag crossbody anyways, so I didn't mind. But normally that is something I take into serious consideration when purchasing a pricier bag. I need the crossbody to be adjustable for my size. But since I just knew and had experience with the shape that I didn't wear it crossbody anyways, this is one of the very few times that I'm unbothered by it. Uh, but yeah, I'm mostly holding this through the top handle and there are four feet that I forgot to mention on the bag. So here's how it fits with the strap on me. Way too long. I definitely would need to either switch out the strap or get this shortened. But like I said, I, I'm not gonna wear it crossbody so I'm really not that concerned with with it. I've had this for about a month now and I am still super in love with it. Still pretty much looks brand new. I wish this handle was just a little bit bigger so that I could pop it underneath my shoulder at times when I need a free hand but I knew that's what I was in for if I wasn't going to use the crossbody strap. I still find it quite comfortable to hold and it's very very spacious. I can't really think of too many other cons other than the strap doesn't fit me. Other than that I mean I really love this bag. I am so happy that I picked it up. I want it in the bubble colors. I'll talk about that in a moment. But yeah, I, I'm really happy with my decision because I feel like this is such a classic bag. It's not going to go out of style. It is really me. It's neutral. And it's something that I'm always going to want to have in my collection. And I'm always going to be able to remember like, hey, I got this when I hit 100,000. So that is the bag I ended up picking up. But I want to show you some other bags that I was looking at at the boutique. So the first bag that actually caught my eye was the Alma BB in the bubble. So the bubble ones were all over the store at the time that I went and they had them in so many fun colors and when I saw these online I was not attracted to them but honestly in person they were so cute. I was gonna pick one up but it's significantly more expensive than the one I did pick up. The bubble is 2980 and the one that I have is 1700 So for about $1,100 difference, 
I just couldn't justify it for the bubble pattern, <laughs> but I do love the bubble pattern. I just felt like I didn't have enough of a Louis Vuitton collection to get one of these limited edition styles. I wanted something with, that was a little bit more classic, but loved the bubble. I was also looking at the Alma Bibi in the Epi leather. These are a tad bit more expensive. They call it the nude, but it was a pink, and it came with the most beautiful limited edition strap that you could only buy that bag with the strap. I was like this close to picking it up, but <laughs> I decided not to because the bag itself was pink. I really did enjoy that. So I was looking at those two, but besides the Alma BB, I had them pull out this bagatelle for me in the cream. I thought that this was so cute. It could be worn as a crossbody or a shoulder strap bag. It was $2,500 and I would have walked out with this bag, but there was one reason that I did not, and it was because the zipper of it was kind of warped so the way that it worked and it's difficult to explain without me having it but the zipper kind of folded out and I don't think they have a picture of it they're not going to show it because it's weird the best way I can describe it is the zipper itself was warped it wasn't like a smooth zip up <laughs> it was very very weird even the sa when he was like trying to sell it to me you know he was like oh no it's supposed to be that way but i literally saw him struggling to zip it up and i honestly could not justify that for twenty five hundred dollars i loved everything else about the bag if the zipper was normal and just a nice clean simple zip i would have left with this one because this one is also beautiful it's really classy i would love to have a luxury cream bag slash shoulder bag in my collection everything about it was perfect beside that zipper and the zipper was a huge thing for me so i just couldn't justify it and that is why i ended up with the alma bb overall i am really really happy with my purchase as you can see i'm over the moon i really don't buy luxury goods for myself very often so it always is a treat when i get to and i am loving up on this one so if you were looking to save up for a luxury bag and you're kind of seeing what's out on the market I'm really happy with my Alma BB and the problem is when I go luxury shopping then I make a list of all these things that I want now after and then I become a little obsessive <laughs> so I'm gonna chill out for a while with the luxury stuff obviously besides makeup I'm always open to buying makeup because it's my job but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you want to talk about some luxury handbags feel free to comment down below do any of you have an Alma BB and definitely check out the other bags that I mentioned like the bubble BB the epi leather bb and the bagatelle those are all really beautiful bags as well and i will see you with the makeup content tomorrow bye guys have a good one